Well, thank you very much for coming along today. Thank you for having me. I just wanted to uh, start by asking, um, when was it that you first realised you wanted to get into acting? Well, I've always been a bit of a show-off. I love performing. I always used to perform for my mum and my dad. I was about three or four, because I love being centre of attention, so that's probably when it started. And was there anyone in particular who inspired you to get into acting? Do you have a favourite actress, for example? Uh, whenever I used to watch telly, I always used to pick up on little bits that each actress does, but my favourite actress has got to be Whippy Goldberg. What was your first role and how did it come about? Uh, my first role was at the age of six. I played Tommy in the West End version of Tommy. Um, I, my agent got me the audition, I walked in, stood there on a spot, looked like that, and then I got it. And you mentioned your agent. Do you think that's the best way to go about getting into the business? Yeah, definitely, because they can find work for you, as well as you looking for yourself. And also probably starting a part-time drama class is probably the best way to go about it. And how hard have you found it to balance being a teenager with being an actress? Um, it is quite difficult, especially when you're away on tour or away filming, uh, because you kind of tend to lose track of what's going on in the outside world. But I try really hard to contact all my friends, and I go home at weekends. So, Did you come from a particularly showbiz family? Not at all, no. My um, mum worked in an office and my dad was a chauffeur. Did you ever experience rejection as an actress? And if so, how did you cope with that? Yeah, I mean, every actress has to cope with knockbacks, you know, it's just a part of the job, so you just got to pick yourself up, brush yourself off and start all over again. And the role of Tracy Beaker particularly, um, how did that come about? Uh, once again, my agent got me the audition. I went in there with a the script, read through it. They liked me, so they asked me to come back the next day. So I came back the next day, I'd learnt all the script off by heart, and then a week later I found out I got it. Okay. How did you feel when you found out you'd got the, uh, got yeah. the role? I cried, which was really pathetic actually, but I was with all my family and the director rang me up on the mobile. And so, you know, I was so shocked and overwhelmed. Had you read any Jacqueline Wilson books before you landed the part? I'd read Cliffhanger and my favourite book by her has got to be Double Act. And I was actually halfway through the story of Tracy Beaker when I um, got the audition. But you didn't actually have to audition in front of Jacqueline Wilson? No, I didn't actually, unfortunately. Has she given you any directions since you landed the part? Um, no, she hasn't, actually. I mean, she, she always tells me a, a good job, so I assume she likes what I'm doing, I hope. <laughs> How much of your portrayal of Tracy Beaker is drawn from personal experience? Well, I know what it's like to, you know, be a girl growing up, so I've kind of taken my experiences from being a child and a teenager growing up. So. Has playing Tracy Beaker ever made you feel like a superstar? Um, in, in a way, yeah. I mean, I went to CBBC proms and I just got completely mobbed by people. That was a really scary thing for me, but it, it was good at the same time. But, you know, I'm just a normal girl from Bracknell. <laughs> um, have you been proud of the work you've done on the series? Yeah, definitely. It's really strange to watch it back, but it's nice to see how it all comes together because you work so hard for three months on 26 episodes and to watch them back, you feel like you've achieved something. What are your fondest memories from the show? Um, everything, the whole experience, how much I've learned and all the cast and the crew, they're all so lovely, we're like a big family down there. But I'd say probably all the food fights and the water fights that we have, they are so much fun. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're up to at the moment and what plans you have for the future? Well, at the moment I'm doing a bit of presenting for um, BBC Seven for my radio programme called Big Toe. And um, I'm doing Panto in December. Um, but other than that, you know, just see what's around the corner. And, um... So what, what sort of dreams and ambitions have you got for future years then? Um, well, I'd like to do more TV dramas, uh, maybe a few films, hopefully. And just, I'd like to work behind the camera. I'd, li I'd like to do everything, basically. <laughs> Danny Harmer, thank you very much.